Um, we'll go ahead and uh, let uh, everybody go to that local break. And welcome back to the KSN Weather Lab as we continue our weather coverage here this evening. A very dangerous situation unfolding in southwest Kansas for one of our counties. We have a number of thunderstorms in west central Kansas. The most serious of these is in the southwest part of the state. And here we have a situation where we have a large tornado confirmed just to the south southwest of Greensburg. Again, this is a large tornado that is on the ground and remaining on the ground right in this area right here high resolution next rad doppler radar pinpointing that and it's moving to the north at about a, a little under 20 miles an hour so that's going to be moving up again along and just west of highway 183 continuing to move toward greensburg so we urge you in the kiowa county south of greensburg and greensburg itself we urge you to move to shelter this is an extremely dangerous situation stay with ksn we'll continue to keep you informed Mics are dead. Do you want severe thunderstorm warning, Edwards, Ford, Hodgman? Uh huh. Is that new? Yeah. That's Reasonably new. Golf balls on those. Steve, I want to go back on uh, Garden City and uh, Great Bend um, after this. Garden City and Great Bend. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm switching our monitors to Great Bend. Okay. Tornado for Kiowa, Retrans. Is that? Yeah, Retrans. Tornado watch on us. Um, do you want, oh my, my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Right here. Yeah. And this is, and look at the, look at the last one these too. This is going to hit them if it just, if it continues doing it. Kind of going north, northeast. I think I've got a good track on it. Do you want me to set something like this up? I mean, I can have <laughs> tools to show the things. Let me see the, let me see the velocities again. See, it's it's sloppy. That's the problem. Yeah. How about SRVs? SRVs okay. though are better. Yeah, yeah. Just leave that, just like that. Okay. One minute away, guys. Are you gonna have that behind you? Or do you want me to follow you with the pencil tool thing? Or? You can follow me with the pencil tool, yeah. Just uh, draw one arrow, draw an arrow inbound and an arrow outbound. Okay. Severe for Northwestern Ellis and Trigo expires 930. You want something like this? No, just one straight arrow. How do I get right mouse. No, right mouse. Okay, okay. just one arrow, eh, one arrow, eh. Oh, like that? Okay. okay, right, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, we are on Great Bend on our, all of our monitors. And we are back as we continue our coverage on our KSN Central and Southwestern stations, KSNC in Great Bend and KSNG in Garden City, along with our live streaming on KSN.com. We're going to continue to stay with you now for a few minutes because we have an extremely dangerous situation taking shape in a part of our KSN viewing area here. You can see we have a patchwork of severe thunderstorm warnings on this line of storms that extends from Nebraska down into the southern part of Kansas. But by far and away, the most serious situation is this bottom end storm where we have a large and 
dangerous tornado on the ground confirmed by National Weather Service spotters and by our high resolution NixRad Doppler radar. And as you look at this image, it is quite a picture. You can see here's Greensburg now. And if you uh, count off the city uh, county lines with me, of course, these are county sections. So one mile. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This tornado is only seven miles southwest of Greensburg right now. That's the leading edge of the uh, place where that tornado could be at this moment. So seven miles away, and it is moving north northeast toward the town of Greensburg at this moment. So again, if we just uh, take a look at this, uh, you can see we've got our warm air rushing into the tornado there. You can see the wrapping around of the cold air by the circulation, and that creates that hook echo that you see right there just west of Highway 183, again, about seven miles south of Greensburg. So if we put a track on this most likely location for the tornado and we take it north at about 20 miles an hour, we're now just knocking on the door of Greensburg in the next 20 minutes or so. So again, this is a very dangerous situation with a confirmed large tornado on the ground, confirmed by the National Weather Service spotters and also by uh, our high resolution next red Doppler radar. It is a very pronounced signature and it is about seven miles south of Greensburg and it is moving straight to the north. So this is a serious situation. Now we have an updated uh, image from our KSN high resolution next red Doppler radar. So again, if we take the most likely location for this now and we move it to the north at about 20 miles an hour, this will give us an updated arrival time. Again, Greensburg is just really flirting with you at about 20 miles out, 20 minutes distance, I should say, seven miles, uh, and in fact, even closer than that. If we go from Greensburg, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, about six miles south of Greensburg now, we have a large tornado moving to the north, northeast, directly toward Greensburg. So I cannot emphasize enough at this point, it is extremely important for everyone in the Greensburg area to move to shelter anywhere from Greensburg on south. Now, let's take a little bit different view of this with our another version of our KSN Neighborhood Stormcaster. This is something that we would not normally put on television. This is what we look at behind the scenes to help to diagnose these storms. Here's Greensburg right here. And what we're looking at now is the Doppler part of Doppler radar, looking at the winds. So in the areas in green, cool colors, these are winds that are blowing toward the radar, NEXRAD at Dodge City. The pink colors, the warm colors, are blowing away from the radar and so there you see how we can pinpoint the circulation inside that storm, even if it's wrapped in rain and even if it's at nighttime. So we have an extremely pronounced signature here. I just have to tell you, I haven't seen one like this on a high resolution next rad Doppler radar in a long time. In fact, the last time I saw one of these, it looked this pronounced. You have to go all the way back to May 3rd of 1999. And that of course was the Hayesville tornado. So again, this is a very serious situation. And if we look in this area uh, where these two colors come together and then we count back north, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. The most likely location for this large and powerful tornado now is about six miles to the south of Greensburg, moving back to the north. So back to our neighborhood stormcaster here with the rain echoes. This thing in fact may in fact be completely wrapped up in rain, completely obscured by rain. And so those of you in Greensburg don't expect to be able to look out the window and see this thing coming. In fact, what you'll likely get is increasing amounts of rain, then some very large hail. I wouldn't be surprised to see golf ball or larger, maybe even up to tennis ball sized hail with this thing. And then right after that, in all likelihood, we have this large, powerful tornado wrapped up coming right up Highway 183. Now, the tornado warning for Kiowa County uh, has been extended. Andrew, was that until 10 o'clock? Till 10 o'clock tonight. And again, that is uh, about six miles south of Greensburg, moving to the north. Projected arrival time would be in about 15 minutes or so now from uh, where we are right now. Again, a large, dangerous tornado confirmed on the ground at Greensburg. And that's why we're staying with you uh, here to make sure that everybody gets the word and has plenty of notice. As I mentioned, this is, in fact, part of a larger scenario here this evening. Let's go ahead and uh, back out a little bit across southwest Kansas. You can 
can see we have strong thunderstorms just going by west of Great Bend. We have strong thunderstorms uh, just to the east and northeast of Dodge City. Uh, then we have this strongest cell down here on the bottom. And as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, if we even back up a little bit further, you can see we have a patchwork of severe thunderstorm warnings that goes all the way back up to the Kansas-Nebraska line. But without question, the one that is the strongest and the reason we're staying with you here on KSN and on KSN.com is this very dangerous situation, a large, con uh, dangerous tornado confirmed on the ground. Again, very near the, the city of Greensburg. So we have a large population of friends and neighbors here that need to have all the latest information and be apprised of this danger approaching their town. I hope that you will bear with us as we continue to track this storm for those who are in the path of it. Again, this is a very large and dangerous tornado reported on the ground near Greensburg. So it is right now, it looks like it is about five miles to the south of Greensburg, still kind of going north northeast at about 20 miles an hour. So right now we would project an arrival time of 953. So that would give you about 19 minutes uh, to get into your shelters. What we will hope now is that this thing might just slip off just to the east of Greensburg, but as I track it with the uh, speed and direction that it has been showing, Greensburg still falls within that danger. Uh, and again, as we look at it from the point of view of the Doppler rotation, uh, we'll go back to our other version of the KSN Neighborhood Stormcaster. There's the center of circulation, green yeah, just look at that in motion. The greens are toward the radar, the reds are away from the radar, and as you watch that and project it, it is very near Greensburg. It would be maybe a mile east of the center of Greensburg at the absolute most. So those of you who are in Greensburg, this is an extremely dangerous situation. Again, a large, dangerous tornado on the ground, and we really urge you to go ahead and move to shelter and stay there for the next couple of minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and stay with you here here on KSN for the next few minutes to make sure that everybody has all the warning that they need here across Kansas. As we look at our central and southwest Kansas, right now we're down to two warnings at the current time. Uh, make that three. We have Kiowa County, the tornado warning until 10, Barton County, a severe thunderstorm warning until 10:15, and Jewel and Smith, of course, Jewel not in the KSN viewing area, but Smith and Rooks, all of those counties under severe thunderstorm warnings until 10 o'clock. So Smith and Rooks County, severe thunderstorm warnings until 10 o'clock tonight. So back to the major storm at hand here this evening, and that's this one down here at the bottom of our screen with a large and dangerous tornado reported now confirmed on the ground. Uh, near Greensburg and getting ready to just move right up into Greensburg. And I will emphasize again that it is in all likelihood completely obscured by rain here and that makes it extremely difficult for anybody to uh, see it and anticipate it uh, as it is coming toward you. So uh, we'll again uh, urge you in the Greensburg area to go ahead and remain in shelter for the next couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at our again our other version of the neighborhood stormcaster. Again, here is the greens indicating winds blowing toward the radar in Dodge City. The pinks, very strong winds outbound. So that is the circulation right there. And it remains about uh, five miles to the south of Greensburg. And on our KSN uh, neighborhood stormcaster with the rain echoes now, uh, we put the place, the center of circulation right in this area right here with a north northeasterly track at about uh, 20 miles an hour. Again, that gives us an arrival time here uh, in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Now, friends, we are coming up here in just a, a moment uh, on a time when all of the KSN network will be joining us as we continue our coverage. So let's uh, step back out here and uh, give everybody a wide view as they get ready to join us here this evening as we continue our coverage uh, of these uh, powerful thunderstorms, which as we see, stretch all the way uh, from Nebraska down into Southwest Kansas. And now we welcome all of the rest of the KSN network as we continue coverage of this very dangerous weather situation that has evolved tonight across west central Kansas. We have been talking for some time here with our friends in southwest Kansas because we have a very dangerous situation, a large dangerous tornado reported on the ground, confirmed by National Weather Service spotters uh, here at the bottom of your picture in Kiowa County. It is very near Greensburg, of course, a fairly large town and again, a large dangerous tornado confirmed on the ground.
ground, and it has been on the ground for some time. Circulation in all likelihood about right there, moving about uh, north northeast at 20. So the arrival time for Greensburg is 9:57. So that's why we have been staying with uh, some of our friends and neighbors in central and southwest Kansas for extended coverage here, is because we want to give absolutely every possible warning we can for uh, this situation because it is described as a large and dangerous tornado by the National Weather Service confirmed on the ground and heading right for a very good sized town, a pretty town, Greensburg. Again, a new image now just in from the National Weather Service. High resolution next red Doppler radar is the most likely location for this tornado now just a couple of miles to the south of Greensburg. Again, we project an arrival time now of 948. So this is updated information. Looks like it is perhaps uh, rocked a little bit further to the north. Also bear in mind that as I do this, I'm going to try to give you as much lead time as I can with the way that I'm looking at it. Let's go to another version of our neighborhood storm caster. This is the wind part, the Doppler part of high resolution next red Doppler radar. Greens winds blowing toward the radar in Dodge City pinks away. So the center of circulation is right there and you can look and just count. That's one, two, three, four miles to the south of Greensburg. So now if we go back here and we take a look at where we've tracked it, one, two, three, four, we're just about right on the money, an arrival time of 948. So you got about eight or nine minutes, Greensburg. This is going to be an extremely close call and we urge you to go ahead and move to shelter and stay there. If you are not already, we'll continue to keep you updated. I do want to give you a quick look at the other thunderstorms that we're talking about across the area here this evening. A patchwork of severe thunderstorm warnings in the north central and central parts of the state. I'm going to just to tell you quickly that those are all capable of quarter to perhaps golf ball sized hail along with 60 mile an hour winds. So if you're in, the, in any of these areas, that's what you can expect here this evening. Uh, without question, the most serious of these continues to be this bunch down on the bottom end of the picture. You can see we have some over northeast of Dodge City, some northwest of Great Bend. But uh, friends, again, without any question at all, this one that is uh, south of Greensburg remains our chief concern at this time because it is so close to Greensburg. And again, we urge everyone there to be in their shelters over this next couple of minutes. Uh, if you are also in other parts of the state and wondering how this will stack up for the rest of the night, let me quickly tell you that that we do have tornado watches in effect for much of the KSN viewing area, and that includes northwest Kansas, southwest Nebraska, and northwest Oklahoma. All of those watches are in effect until 2 o'clock this morning. So it's going to be a long night, and we'll continue to keep you updated as needed. For those of you directly affected by that storm, and we're going to continue our coverage on uh, Great Bend and uh, Garden City stations and KSN.com live streaming. And for those of you who are staying with us here this evening, uh, we will continue our coverage here as we go back to our KSN neighborhood stormcaster and the storm that is very near to Greensburg. Again, if you are not in your shelter, Greensburg, you need to be there right now. Potential circulation center is just about two to three miles to the south of Greensburg, continuing to move to the north. Arrival time on this projection. Again, I'm trying to be a, a conservative here to give you as much lead time as possible it would be 951, so eight to nine minutes at its uh, current course and speed would bring that storm right up over top of Greensburg. And again, this is a situation where the National Weather Service has confirmed a large tornado on the ground. So we really urge you to move to shelter. You have a few minutes to get there. It's 942 right now. So we're projecting an arrival time of uh, somewhere between seven and 10 minutes for you there in the Greensburg area. Let's go ahead and uh, step back just a bit and show the rest of this area, this cluster of thunderstorms. This is the most serious those of you who are getting storms from Dodge City up to Great Bend, these storms are hail producers, a quarter size to perhaps golf ball sized hail possible with all of those storms. And we're not seeing any sort of circulation, no sort of tornado threat with these. But this guy down here near Greensburg, that's a whole different story. And I, that's why we are emphasizing this storm here for the next few minutes because it is so close to bringing a major tornado uh, into a town. Now let's go ahead and switch back to our other version version of our KSN neighborhood stormcaster. Again, green is toward the radar, winds blowing toward the radar on our Doppler display, the pinks away from the radar. So this represents the center of circulation. It is now, uh, as you can see, moving so that it would be just east of Greensburg if, in fact, that's where it is on the ground. 
uh, there is some tilt involved with thunderstorms, so we will always allow a little extra elbow room there, but that's one, two, three miles to the south of Greensburg. Let's go to KSN meteorologist Andrew Kozak. Okay, it looks like now a tornado emergency has been issued for Greensburg now. They are tracking that large, extremely dangerous tornado located about five miles just to the south of Greensburg. Dave, you were tracking that and showing us just now on there. That is moving north at about 20 miles per hour, so you really need to get in the center of your house or your storm shelter immediately. Again, this is an emergency situation for Greensburg issued by the National Weather Service in Dodge City. You know, those are words that our friends at the National Weather Service office in Dodge City do not use lightly, and they don't use them very often, and that really points to the gravity of this situation. So again, a tornado emergency now has been declared for Greensburg, and as you look at this, friends, there is the notch where the air is rushing into that storm, and here it wraps around. So even though it's probably really wrapped in very heavy rain and very difficult to see. We can, as meteorologists, still analyze this and see we are still seeing all of the warning signs. Most likely location is now, um, since that statement was issued, is, is even closer. I would peg it about right there. And with that north-northeasterly movement at about 20 miles an hour, the arrival time at Greensburg remains pretty consistent at 9.52, so you've got about eight minutes to go ahead and finish your tornado precautions. Now, here's what I want you to do. Maybe we have some kids that are home alone tonight with mom and dad enjoying dinner out or something like that. Want to be moving to your tornado shelter. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn the volume up on your TV so that you can still hear me. I want you to go ahead and turn the volume up on the computer speakers if you are tracking our storms here live streaming on KSN.com. Leave the volume up so that you can hear us talking with you uh, as we go through these next few minutes. You want to move down to the basement, and you want to go to the center of the basement. That's underneath something sturdy, like a workbench, a work uh, table, or maybe the stairs down to the basement if they're in the center of the room. Center of the basement, lowest level, away from windows. If your house does not have a basement, then you want to go ahead and move to a small room in the center of the house on the lowest level with no windows. So that's, again, a small room center of the house, lowest level, no windows. In most houses, that's going to be a bathroom or a closet, and you should go ahead and get into that room, grab a blanket or a pillow or a mattress and pull it up over top of you. Now is the time, Greensburg, to take your tornado precautions. You need to be in your shelters. Your arrival time is imminent. The storm is knocking on your door. A confirmed large, dangerous tornado from the National Weather Service, a tornado emergency now in effect for Greensburg in Kiowa County. And again, I, well, I hope that those of you who are not affected will send a good thought your neighbor's way here in Greensburg over these next couple of minutes as this very dangerous situation unfolds. This is a large, dangerous tornado confirmed on the ground near Greensburg moving directly toward the town. Let's go back to our wind part, the Doppler part of our neighborhood stormcaster. And here again, you can see that circulation. The green colors, winds blowing toward the radar pink colors away center of circulation right here you count it off it's one two three miles to the south of greensburg and the track continues to be kind of straight to the north so if you're in that greensburg area we urge you to again move to shelter and get in your shelter and stay there a tornado emergency has been declared by the national weather service with greensburg under the gun of a large and dangerous tornado so as this continues to unfold it looks like now we have an updated picture from our KSN high resolution next rad Doppler radar. Boy, I sure hate to tell you this, friends, but it looks like that thing is right on top of Greensburg. So your time is up. You need to be in your shelter right now. It is 947, and the arrival time at the very latest will be 950. So you should be in your uh, shelter right now. Again, you should be in your shelter in Greensburg. Large, dangerous tornado confirmed by the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service calling a tornado emergency uh, for uh, Greensburg in central Kiowa County. And again, we're staying with you because this is obviously a large, uh, pop, uh, large area, a large uh, uh, populated town right in the gun, right under the gun here, right in the middle of a tornado emergency with a confirmed tornado on the ground and headed your way. Let's go ahead and switch to our neighborhood storm caster. Again, uh, Andrew, if you could uh, update our wind arrows here because you can see the circulation again has shifted further to the north. In fact, let's go ahead and update our view, Andrew, and uh, move Greensburg down 
down into the center of the picture just a little bit. This is a tornado emergency, and those are words that the National Weather Service does not use very often. This is a dangerous situation with a large, confirmed, dangerous tornado on the ground. Here's the green with the arrow, uh, the winds blowing toward the radar, Dodge City radar over here. The reds, the pinks indicating the winds blowing away, so the center of circulation is now just about a mile south of Greensburg. And that, of course, doesn't take into account the tilt that uh, goes with thunderstorms. So it's a very possible that this thing is on top of Greensburg. Let's hope that it's a near miss, but at this point, it sure looks like it's going to be a very, very close call for the city of Greensburg. Those of you who are just north of Greensburg now, north of the highway, this is now going to be your turn as we go through these next couple of minutes, we are going to see that storm continuing to go to the north past the highway, and it is imperative that you that are north of the highway uh, take shelter as well, because it is, again, a situation where uh, this storm will continue past the Greensburg area and into the northern parts of Kiowa County, just to the north of Greensburg and Haviland. So if you are just joining us, uh, we certainly hope that all of you who are not affected by the storm will understand how important it is to get folks in Greensburg moving into shelter. There's the air rushing into the storm. The air wrapping around behind with the circulation. You can see that circulation is right smack dab over Greensburg. And again, we hope that anyone who is in Greensburg will go ahead and move to shelter immediately as this is an extraordinarily dangerous situation. A tornado emergency, in fact, as called by the National Weather Service. I want to just take a moment and uh, tell KSN Master Control that as we do get into uh, the next opportunity to talk to all of the KSN network, just let us know here in the Weather Lab, and we will welcome all of our other viewers back to us as we continue our coverage. Master Control says in about five to seven minutes, we're going to go ahead and be able to talk to everybody across the state. But certainly our KSNC and KSNG stations, we will continue to remain with you here for the next couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and move our view a little bit as it looks like we are now getting to the place where this uh, tornado is just about to pass by Greensburg and continue on into the rural areas to the north of Greensburg. When that happens, when we get it past the city, we'll probably go ahead and take a quick breather, regroup, gather fresh information. But I just want to stay with you until we are for sure that the threat has passed this area. Kiowa County, you remain under a tornado warning until 10 o'clock. A tornado warning in effect until 10. So that's another 10. And I hear we have another tornado warning that is being issued. So right now, this potential tornado reported, confirmed large, dangerous tornado earlier now is right on top of Greensburg. Let's go back to meteorologist Andrew Kozak for the latest. Andrew? Okay, Dave, now we we're starting to get some reports out of that area. It looks like five miles south, southwest of Greensburg, a wedge tornado, as we were showing you, uh, as indicated by our uh, Doppler radar wedge tornado with a satellite tornado and a rope tornado. So this is not just a one tornado thunderstorm here. Tornado becoming rain wrapped, which is becoming a very dangerous situation. And we've been talking about that. Let me stop you for just a minute, Andrew. What was the time on that report? Okay, the time was uh, about 10 to 12 minutes ago. So that is going to continue to move in that direction. That's right. So that that is a again a confirmation of that situation remaining very very dangerous. And now we're going to expand that warning north of uh, Kiowa County. That's right, southeastern Edward. County in South Central Kansas and Northeastern Kiowa County, a tornado warning for them until 1030 tonight. Again, we are tracking a confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado two miles south of Greensburg. So actually, Dave, this latest report is putting that tornado now two miles to the south of Greensburg, moving northeast at about 30 miles per hour. So it is picking up speed again. If you are in the Greensburg area and you are listening to this, please get to your storm shelters and center your houses or basements immediately as this is a dangerous dangerous situation. And Andrew, what was the time stamp on that one? On that one, that was exactly two minutes ago, 9.50. Okay, so again, that uh, still indicates that this tornado was directly south of Greensburg and getting ready to pass right over top of the city. So we hope that those of you who are in Greensburg will remain in your shelters. A tornado emergency declared by the National Weather Service because of a large confirmed tornado. And now, as Andrew just reported, there may in fact be multiple tornadoes, smaller ones that are rotating around the outside of the large ones passing by very dangerous situation to 
say the least. Our KSN neighborhood stormcaster in the Doppler mode, uh, again, indicating a very dangerous situation because we have the circulation passing by just to the, uh, I mean, just to the east of Greensburg. The greens indicate winds blowing toward the radar. The reds indicating the winds away from the radar. So this is still a very turbulent area in the atmosphere, still very much a possibility that we have a large tornado completely wrapped up and obscured by rain uh, here this evening, moving across central Kiowa County through Greensburg. And we're going to stay with you for just a couple of more minutes and make sure that we get all of our friends and neighbors in Greensburg taken care of here this evening because of this very dangerous situation. Then, as we turn our attention to the north, we are seeing that the tornado warning now has been expanded into parts of Kiowa and Edwards County. So we're anticipating, the National Weather Service is anticipating that that storm will continue to move to the northeast. But for right now, again, we have a tornado emergency in effect for our friends in Greensburg because of this large, dangerous tornado confirmed uh, by the National Weather Service spotters and getting ready to move right across the city, is moving across the the city right now. So again, if you are in Greensburg, please remain in shelter for a few more minutes. Make sure that the danger has passed before you come out. Those of you who are in the rural areas to the north and east of Greensburg, we urge you to remain in shelter because this is still an extremely dangerous situation. Andrew, if you could update the warning times for uh, Kiowa and Edwards, uh, that would help. Uh, again, the warning now, the tornado warning has been expanded not only in Kiowa, but also Edwards County. Counties, and that uh, is until 1045, uh, 1035. 30. 1030. Thank you, Andrew Kozak. Uh, 1030 here this evening. As you're looking at this, friends, we still have an excellent indication right there on top of Greensburg of a potential for that tornado to still be happening as it is moving to the north now past uh, the downtown of Greensburg and into northeastern parts of Kiowa County and southern Edwards County. Still a very dangerous situation. The National Weather Service declaring a tornado emergency. We're staying with you in hopes that we can do everything we can to get the last few people to move to shelter. Remember, this tornado in all likelihood now is completely wrapped up in rain, not visible, not a good idea to take the camera and think you can go outside and get some pictures of this. This is a situation where that thing might be completely wrapped up in rain and not really visible until it is too late. Uh, so this storm is still extremely dangerous. The National Weather Service is still recommending that everybody remain in shelter with the tornado emergency in a fact for uh, Kiowa County here this evening and again the warning now showing that the most likely location for the tornado would be just about on top of Greensburg and moving to the northeast so those of you in the rural areas northeast of Greensburg north of Haviland south of Truesdale now it's time for you to begin making your tornado precautions in this area I'm going to go back to a fairly dramatic picture on the wind the Doppler part of our KSN neighborhood stormcaster there again green colors are winds blowing toward the radar our red colors away so now it would look like the circulation center has moved almost directly over Greensburg it is right on top of Greensburg right now I surely hope that we're wrong about this I surely hope that it's a close call but it's in the still an open field but it looks like it is an extremely close thing. We go back to our neighborhood stormcaster, most likely location right there on top of Greensburg, moving to the northeast. So friends, uh, again, it is a very, very rough night as we continue to watch this cluster of thunderstorms moving across southwest Kansas. Numerous other severe thunderstorm warnings going on. Just a quick comment about all of those. If you're in the path of any of those storms, prepare for half dollar to golf ball sized tail. So far, not seeing any other signs of rotation. This one down here by Greensburg continues to be the one that has the uh, great tornado threat. I also might mention that I can notice, and Andrew, you can check this in our wind display, the Doppler display. It looks to me like about four miles west of Greensburg. We may have a new circulation wrapping up there. So that's something that those of you who are west of Greensburg, that's a pretty suspicious little notch there. And uh, I would urge you right in that area right there. So if you're west of Greensburg in this spot right here, watch out. It looks like we could, and I emphasize could because I'm seeing it like you're seeing it here. Uh, and it does look like we could. Andrew right. says uh, go back to the neighborhood stormcaster. Andrew, go ahead. Uh, looks uh, like we're uh, Andrew, hang on for just a minute. Yes, we are seeing an additional circulation wrapping up uh, back by Joy there uh, in the southwest part of Kansas. 
And we want to take just a moment now and welcome all of our KSN viewers across the state now as we continue our coverage of a tornado emergency in Kiowa County in southwest Kansas. We continue to have a tornado reported by the National Weather Service as a large and dangerous tornado moving right across Greensburg in Kiowa County and moving to the northeast. The National Weather Service using extremely strong language, calling this a dangerous large tornado and a declaring a tornado emergency for Greensburg. So we have had many reports of confirmed tornado here. We have been on the air in southwest Kansas for quite some time tracking this moment by moment also on KSN.com to get everybody aware of this situation in Kiowa County. And I just uh, was calling attention here on the back side of this right here right out to the uh, west of the Greensburg area. It looks to me like we very well could have another circulation here uh, that might uh, be causing us some difficulty there uh, just to the west of our area. And we want to uh, urge everyone there to go ahead and watch out for another circulation to potentially develop on the backside of this storm. Now we have in one sense accomplished our immediate mission here and that is that we have uh, gotten the center of circulation just past Greensburg. So now it's going to be moving into the open country, the rural areas, just to the north of Greensburg. Watch this backside. It continues to be a concern. In fact, that, that last there update from our uh, KSN uh, uh, high resolution next ray Doppler radar really kind of convinces me even more that we've got another potential circulation just to the west of Greensburg. Now stay tuned, friends. We are going to continue our team coverage of the storms here tonight as KSN News rolls on. We'll continue tracking the highly dangerous thunderstorms in Kansas tonight coming up from the KSN Weather Lab. Okay, Jen, we got the, the critical part is done. We've got it past Greensburg. Although I'll tell you what, I think this is another one back yeah, here. Did I you see so that? Too, Do you agree? agree? Look at that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's developing another one. I think so. That's another circulation developing there back there. there. Yep. There's a new circulation developing just west of Greensburg over the town of Joy. Once we get past that, it's Haviland. That's where you just were. <laughs> we were still outbound on the web. Well, nobody said anything. <laughs> yep. I, uh, I emailed the forecast to the radio. Okay. But obviously. Well, thanks very much, uh, Paul and Anita. It has been a very, very busy and rough night here in the KSN Weather Lab. Let's start off on our neighborhood stormcaster with a wide view of what's happening here this evening. Uh, just to give you some idea, these are probably false echoes just north of Wichita, but all of these thunderstorms across central Kansas, believe me, are very real. We have scattered uh, patchwork of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings from the Nebraska line all the way down to central Kansas. If you're in the path of any one of those storms, be prepared for 
for half dollar to golf ball sized hail. If you're in the path of this one down on the bottom end, be ready for a large, dangerous tornado. The National Weather Service just a few minutes ago declaring a tornado emergency in Greensburg with the report of a large tornado on the ground and headed directly toward it. We believe that circulation has in fact passed over top of Greensburg and that would be represented by this area right here. If you look kind of closely, you can see a notch right there. Look back here. As I told you just a couple of minutes ago, it looks like we could have a new circulation developing on the backside of the storm. So I'm going to give us storm tracks for both of these. First of all, the main circulation now just to the north of Greensburg continues to move north at about 20 miles an hour. So that's going to be going over open country north of Greensburg, eventually reaching Truesdale. Haviland it should pass just to the north and west of you. Now the second circulation that's developing is back here on the back side of this thing right there and it continues to look like it is not only developing but potentially wrapping back around and getting ready to go through Greensburg again. So those of you in Greensburg, we urge you to remain in your shelters. This is a developing situation with a new circulation on the back side there that is getting ready to uh, come out your way. Let me go ahead and reorient my view here so you can see that right on top of the storm track times. Again, a new circulation wrapping up on the back side of this. Looks like it could also come across Greensburg, so stay in your shelters in Greensburg. Arrival time for this next one, 10-11. Those of you who are on the front side, again, remember this circulation still could mean business as well. There could still be a large tornado wrapped up in this area, north of Greensburg in the rain, moving northeast eventually to affect Truesdale coming up there in a couple of minutes. So again, this is the bottom end of this line of thunderstorms, but again, uh, anything north of there, all the way up to the Nebraska line, at that point, we're talking about a half dollar to golf ball sized hail, 60 mile an hour winds on any of those storms here this evening. Do want to just mention tornado watches remain in effect for much of the KSN viewing area until two. So Paul and Anita, we really could be just maybe halfway or less through this really st uh, tough stormy night. Go ahead. I have a uh, ticker's update and I said another possible tornado moving toward the Greensburg area state. Right. I'm not seeing things, am I? Uh, there's definitely something going on back there. I have not reported any damage or storm reports just yet. Yeah, I know. But Okay, Jennifer, we will, of course. Um, definitely, definitely think we should get on before the end of the segment just to give people a status. Do you know if, she sent, if they sent Shanda to Greensburg? Why don't you call the newsroom? Ask Tommy that question and, and ask him if you... Um, I was hesitant to say yes because I don't want her to drive into 